What is up Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider John coming at you with another preview video for the 2018 season. And the next one up is the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, okay, Seattle Seahawks, we're going to meet them in week six. And as usual, we'll be meeting them um, right before the bye week due to the place where we'll, we'll be playing them at. And I'll get to that later. Yeah. So on the Seattle Seahawks, uh, this team is not the same team as of old, but uh, they still have a little bit of a spark to them. So let's go ahead and get to the history. The, the two teams have met each other um, a total of 54 times, including two postseason games. The Oakland Raiders lead the series actually 29 to 25. Now we've actually met this team more than uh, any other NFC West opponent because they used to be a AFC West opponent uh, back in the expansion, and they went back to the NFC West in 2002. They started off there when they first expanded. So a little bit of rivalry there, but not really. Their biggest weakness, in my opinion, th this year is their run game. Uh, they actually... Got Peeny, Penny, I don't, I don't know what that fucking guy's name is, but he's supposed to be good. And uh, But last year, they didn't have a freaking running back that went over 500 yards. And we're playing in London, people. Yeah, London. You want to know my opinion on this? Uh, well, my opinion is, this is total fucking bullshit. For God's sakes, man, how many times are they going to take away a fucking home game from Oakland? We're not going to be there that much longer. You should give us every fucking home game we have, you piece of shit-ass fucking Adele. Anyways, it marks the first time the Seattle Seahawks would actually play in um, an overseas game. Uh, they did play in Buffalo and Bills in Toronto, but that's technically not overseas. They uh, also played, I believe, in Mexico, but that was in a preseason game. So regular season, totally different. All right, this guy, Russell Wilson, I'm not going to lie. He's a good quarterback, guys. Uh, some people say he's overrated. I will not say that. I say he is a damn good quarterback. However, he does come with a few necessities, and I'll get to that. Uh, he actually, last last year, he threw for 3,983 yards, uh, 34 touchdowns with a 95.4 passer rating. Uh, in the last three seasons, he's actually ranked fourth in touchdown passes. Um third in passer ratings and he averages 450 yards a freaking year uh the reason he does that is because he is a damn good scrambler this man um you gotta watch out for it i mean once he gets his feet moving he could just take off he does not fuck around when it comes to like scrambling and getting and gaining yardage it's it's ridiculous how quick this guy is they uh nicknamed him i believe houdini or some shit like that he tends to disappear out of fucking tackles out of nowhere Although, if you do hit them and you keep hitting them, it affects them. I noticed in their biggest loss last year against the Rams, where they got blew out by 40 points, they were hitting him constantly. And I mean constantly putting pressure on him, knocking him out of his wit. Uh, there was one throw where they spun him around so bad, he threw the ball in the opposite direction. It was crazy. Um, so... Yeah, they Russell Wilson, good quarterback, but you get him off of his game when it comes to, you know, scrambling and you keep him like maybe tied into the pocket, he struggles a little. He needs a solid run game. That's one thing about Russell Wilson. He's one of those quarterbacks that if he got a solid run game, he will pick you apart. And I think in Russell Wilson's case, he landed in a best case scenario. Uh like the best possible place for him is Seattle because of a good run game that he had and a good defense. Now his passer uh, rating actually ain't that bad because of this guy right here. Doug Baldwin is a taunted receiver. Um, last year, this guy actually had uh, 75 receptions for 991 yards, but the fall the year before that, he actually had 94 receptions for 1,128 yards. He actually had one more touchdown this year than he did last year, so he still was getting them touches in the red zone. Now, he... Uh, he's a um, young cat, man, but he, he could ball out. 
tends to play uh, slightly physical, has a you know little chip on the shoulder, if in my opinion, from when I see on on the tape. I mean, he's a good player, but to be honest with you, it seems like he struggles, if I'm not in my opinion, against top corners. And unfortunately, we don't have a top corner, but we'll see where that goes. Now, um, this is where it gets kind of funny, guys. Uh, The biggest fear that every team has ever had about this team was the Legion of Boom. Richard Sherman and Cam Chancellor Earl Thomas, they played together for like, you know, since 2011. Earl Thomas is um, the only one left, and he's even looking for a fucking way out. He's trying to get the fuck out of there, man. Rumor has it he walked up to Mark Davis and told him, take me. I want to get the fuck out. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there in uh, Seattle, but y'all better keep your boy happy. Um, other people that left other than the Legion of Booms, Cliff Ivril, Seth, Sheldon Richardson, Michael Bennett, Jimmy Graham, and obviously, you know, Beast Mode and Bruce Irving. I mean, it, it's crazy. But the biggest hit is this Legion of Boom thing. I mean, there are players out there now that I seriously don't know their fucking name. It's like, the Legion of what? <laughs> Legion of whom? I mean, come on, man. I, I don't, like, it's sad. It's really sad that one, once upon a time that you looked at their secondary, you knew every player in their secondary by name and with a reputation. Uh, I think they've taken a step back in this account, but... Uh, I'm not a Seahawks fan, so I'll I'll leave it to you Seahawks fans that watch this video to let me know exactly what's going on with y'all secondary. Because uh, I'm not going to lie. I had mad respect for y'all secondary. I, I did um, for the longest. But now I'm looking at it, and I'm like, uh, I don't know anybody here. Uh, but, you know, uh, anything can happen. For all, y'all, for all I know, you guys might still have that top 10 defense. So, it's going to be a good matchup, guys. Last time we played these guys, it kind of came down to the wire. We had a chance to win it, but um, we ended up losing. Carr made a fourth quarter attempt for a comeback. So, right before Carr really got going with those fourth quarter comebacks. And I think this was the first game where he, you know, kind of got his gro- in the groove and showed little sparks of what he's capable of. And the biggest news on this one, in my opinion, is this will be the first time Marshall Lynch officially goes against the fucking Seahawks. Uh, he did play them in the season, in preseason game. He probably, but it's just not the same, guys. Preseason's one thing, you know. You're you're not really giving your all in preseason, but uh, regular season, that's for you know, that's for real wins and losses, man. I mean, we'll see what happens when that when that comes down to it uh but it's kind of going to be interesting i i'm can't wait for this matchup uh it's going to be in london so see what happens uh don't really do that good overseas lately so well i guess we'll find out exactly how good we are early on and it really comes down to this guys uh whose defense is going to be better because if their defense does show that they can do it without the Legion of Boom and can do it without the old players they had, they're going to be one hell of a team to stop. I do, however, believe that the Raiders are up to it. Okay, so that's going to do it, guys. Uh, we meet the Seahawks in week six of 2018 season, and we will see where we're at then. Uh, they are not to be underestimated guys this team may have lost a lot of players but they still got some tricks up their sleeve they didn't go nine and seven last year for no reason all right they did have a winning season and they did grind games out so they have that mentality to actually grind it out and just pull a win out of nowhere so we got to come with our a game in this one and we'll see what happens all right like comment subscribe go raiders